So we're going to take some time right now and do a little introduction to quadratic equations. You've already done a little bit with quadratic equations, namely trinomials and difference of squares. We did some factoring in the last chapter, if you remember. Now we're going to be looking at uh, graphing quadratic equations. Now when we say a quadratic equation, we're just referring to the fact that the highest degree monomial in your function is a second degree monomial. Okay, this is a quadratic function then because the uh, highest degree is 2. Um, so let's go ahead and look at our graph. There's a couple of important parts on the graph. This is the graph of y equals x squared. Okay, and this is what we call the parent function because all of the other quadratic graphs kind of have a basis here. Okay, and they all have the same similar shape. The shape of this graph is called a parabola. Okay, it's not parabola or bowl of pears or anything like that. Parabola. Okay, that's the name of the shape. And you'll notice that it's not the same curve everywhere like a circle would be. It's the same exact, a circle would have the same exact curve everywhere. This one starts pretty steep going down and then it, the slope of it changes as we're getting close to the bottom. Down here at the bottom, the slope is actually flat, and then it starts to get steeper again. And that's what a parabola will do. Now, this place down here at the bottom is called the vertex. The vertex is always either the highest point or the lowest point on the parabola, depending on whether you've got a parabola like this one that's opening up, or you have a parabola that's upside down, opening down. In this case, the vertex is obviously the minimum and we would name the vertex as 0 comma 0. Now some other important points on our graph with this one they're all going to end up being the same point because it is a parent function but we always pay attention to the x-intercepts okay and we've talked about x-intercepts before when we did linear graphs and the x-intercepts are the places where y equals 0 or where it crosses the x-axis. You can see again that's going to be the same point, that same vertex. We always name these with a point. In this case we only have one x-intercept because it goes down, touches the graph, and then it increases again. The other important points we'll look at is the y-intercept. And there will only be one y-intercept for any parabola. And again this is the place where the line crosses the y-axis, which just happens to be, again, 0, 0. For the y-intercept, x will always be 0. Um, that's the basic things that we're looking at. We've also got one more thing. We have what we call the axis of symmetry. And I'm going to put that in green here. The axis of symmetry is a line that goes straight down the center of my graph that basically cuts the graph in two. Each side is a mirror image of the other. It should go straight through the vertex, like this one does, and then everything else is exactly a mirror image. From here to the line should be the same from the axis to the line on the other side. doesn't matter where you do it. If I do it here at 4, that distance should be the same as this one, okay? Because everything will be an exact mirror image of the other side. Those are the basic definitions that we've got, the basic terms, and now we will go on to the next video to learn a little bit more about graphing.